Hello, I am Mia Moore here at Uniquely Divine LLC, and I have already grounded my energy, saved my cards, and my space to be able to give you guys the best energetic messages. I do not own the rights to the music in the background that is Pandora playing. Dear Divine Creative Source of Everything, I thank you for the opportunity to connect with you through these cards. I call upon Archangel Michael, the Divine Spirit of Life, and my ancestors for protection as I go within the tarot to give you guys clear, honest, and accurate messages. Okay, so let's get started. I finally found my fan to my uh, tablet. I'm so excited. So I'm going to have to set it up on stuff. Clear, honest, and accurate message of spirit. Okay. Ask is out first. So, with this being said, a lot of you are asking the universe or spirit source, Muhammad Allah, you know, whoever you resonate with, Jesus. Um, like I said, whoever you resonate with, you've been asking for something lately, and it reads. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and amongst them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. So, basically, if you haven't asked, Spirit is wanting you to ask. Whatever it is that you're wanting to ask for, 151 was on the clock. So, say for instance, you want to... Be a business owner. You are not only to ask specifically with two, 20, uh, excuse me, 202 on the clock. Don't just ask for what you want, but align yourself, which means like, okay, you want to manifest being um, a business owner. Start out small. Do something like if you want to sell things, purchase your merchandise first. Then go ahead, 222 on the clock, and get your LLC or if you don't want an LLC, go ahead and get a, um, get a trademark on whatever slogan that you are trying to, you know, put into fruition. And then go through with it like that. But take baby steps. Don't try to do everything at one time, is what I'm saying. Okay, somebody wants to be your man. Somebody wants to make you understand. Cleanse and detoxify. Out next. And it reads, With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to de develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrowful feeling at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concern to us. And feel the beautiful grace to your newly purified body. Excuse me. So I stumbled upon that. So maybe you guys are stumbling with some addictions that are unhealthy to you. Maybe you guys, you know, because addictions don't always have to be drugs. You can overeat or you can overdo things, you know. Like, whatever you feed your mind, you know, multiplies pretty much. So you can also detoxify and cleanse yourself from other energies that are unhealthy to you as well. One more card, Spirit. Clear, honest, and accurate messages, Spirit. Okay, go for it. Is out next. And it reads, your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path, and it, as it will take you very far indeed. So Spirit is letting you know to don't give up on your um, manifestations. You wanted to manifest something, and you're on the right path. 
You just have to have patience for it. Don't overpray about it. Somebody wants to spend all their time with you. Somebody wants to vibe with you. Only take what resonates for you because not all messages will resonate because this is not a personal reading. So, yeah. I take messages from all things. Clear, honest, and accurate messages there. Yes. So, somebody here could be 17, or you could have a child that's 17, you've been in your relationship for 17 years. Yeah, but Spirit is about to gift someone something, or someone is wanting to give you a gift. False person and mature man. So, you have a false person in your mix. It could even be a family member. It doesn't have to be a love interest. Yeah. Pathway out next. Somebody could be 35 at the moment, currently. Someone could have an eight-year-old or have been in their relationship for eight years. Angel number 88, look that up. Someone here is in despair. Someone also um, could be 32 years old or have been in their relationship for 32 years. Unexpected income out next. So, someone definitely is about to um, get a raise or a promotion, a new job. Oh my goodness, thief out next, 24. Somebody could be 24 years old. Distant horizon and um, on the bottom of the deck, somebody could be 36 years old or 39 years old. But something is definitely definitely significant to this thief in the distant horizon. Maybe you're going to find out that... Well, let me look at this. Hang on. Somebody could be an evil stepmom. Oh, okay. I meant foster mom. But stepmom came out. So, yes. We're just going to leave that there. Somebody wants you to send them their, your, your location. Or you want someone to send you their location. Or somebody's trying to find out your location. mature woman out next you can have a six-year-old a five-year-old an eight-year-old or you've been in your relationship for six years or in on your job for six years yeah great fortune out next so yeah unexpected income with great uh, fortune and expectation at the bottom of the deck somebody is expecting um something from this situation maybe this person you thought this person was a gift but this person is a false person in disguise they're actually a thief and like i said this person can be a family member or a friend it doesn't have to be a love interest
clear, honest, and accurate messages. Okay. Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords. So, there's some heartbreak in a, a family dynamic regarding money. It could be a wheel of some sort. It could be a, a life saving. Yeah. The hangman. Somebody could be literally trying to hang you. And I don't mean like hang you from a tree. Even though that could be possible. They could make it seem like it's a um, suicide. Yeah, because there's a moon in the back of there. Which represents, represents secrets. Yeah, but somebody definitely is revising a plan. They're trying to figure out how they can, you know, get away with it. Or get you to cooperate. They're spying. Yep, the devil. 11.31 was on the clock. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. But somebody definitely is caged into their thoughts or caged to their addictions or lower vibrational energy. You know, it could be a lover that they're addicted to. Or they're addicted to, you know, multiple, several different things. Or people but as you see though this cage is open though so the only real issue here is this person can be freed but they're choosing not to be or they're scared to be free it could be because of this family tradition They want to leave before the morning comes. Okay. They don't want to leave you like this. But they don't want to be here. The name of this song is For Tonight. Okay. This person wants a new beginning. They want to take a leap of faith on something or someone. You see the rainbow there? They want to experience life and not just routinely pray. They want to align. 1323 was on the clock. This person realizes that you know, they have a lot of faith. They're taking faith with them. They're not leaving faith behind. So this person could be, you know, not necessarily doing away with their traditional ways or traditional thinking, but, you know, adding to it, branding off or branching off, excuse me. Yeah, because this person is mourning. They're tired of being unhappy, tired of constantly being overworked, confused. Like, I'm constantly praying, I'm having faith, why is my life so chaotic? Why am I so hot-tempered and unhealed? Why am I so triggered every time somebody does something I don't like or says something I don't like? This person is probably very vindictive. Yeah, 
this could be a lover it could be your energy like i said you know it don't always have to be that it's always somebody that is um external to you but with the page of swords being here somebody over exaggerates you know situations or things like that or they're not very truthful they've been the truth even if they know they were wrong they feel powerful when they have people on their side feuding with the other person that they call, you know, cast it out, I'm hearing, you know, pretty much. So it could be a group of friends as well. Uh-huh. The tower. Don't that tower look so beautiful, though? And that's one, uh, five, five, five on the clock. Spirit is about to prepare you a table in front of everybody. And it's not going to be like you don't want nobody to eat with you. It's just, you know, they wasn't eating with you when you were down. So you're going to be like, keep that same energy. It took a lot for you to get here, though. You see that thunder? You see all that light and stuff? You see the darkness back there? You went through that by yourself. So make sure you eat by yourself. Don't be overgiving. I'm dead. Somebody feels like they need you now. They want you to read in between the lines. They can tell. They can read your mind. Okay, somebody's about to explode. This is a lot of cards. Yep. Somebody's about to rise from the ashes. People thought they were going to leave this person in. Masculine or feminine. They can hear your heart as soon as it breaks. Yep. They're your perfect match. They're just like you. So this could be a third party. Yep, with the um, Six of Cups in reverse. You're no longer wanting to collab with people from your past. Yep. This person lights up your world. You see all them candles? It feels ritualistic. I can't even get the word out. Ritualistic with this person when you guys are making love. You feel like you're running out of time. Somebody here is actively saving. The sun in reverse. When they're not with you, they don't feel very happy. They feel like they're missing something. Like you're the missing piece. They see that you're independent, very resilient. They're in love with you. And I'm fine. is being manipulated to collab with someone somebody is doing heavy mental manipulation to keep them you know stuck emotionally oh 1909 was on the clock stuck emotionally mentally they bond them about what about what we have oh you gonna choose her over you, your family or what we built I've been here for you I was there for you when you was down and out stuff like that duke trippers Mm -hmm. Page of coins. Somebody here definitely is at the beginning stages of something. Somebody is definitely doing research too. Maybe they are taking up something for class.
Yeah. But they definitely listening to their intuition. This represents all the downloads that this person is getting from their ancestors, from their spirit guides, from spirit, from whoever they resonate with. But it's all the same person. But it's definitely one specific or all of their ancestors together orchestrating something behind the scenes. Yep, judgment at the bottom of the deck. Do you see that? I can't make this shit up. And... I'm going to get the basket on that note. Mm -hmm. You can't hang up. So you gave this person everything. Or you're wanting to give someone everything. Okay, so somebody about to change it up on you. Okay, so I'm put it in a pal. Let me put this one. My children don't like divine masculine or divine feminine. So somebody's children don't like their mate. I feel threatened when someone is doing better than me. Is out next. So somebody feels threatened. When people is doing better than them. September. Um, so something is sep uh, significant to September. The month of September. Maybe you have a baby that was born in September. Or you were born in September. Or you have a family member that was born in September. Take it how it resonates. You left this home incomplete. Out next. So somebody feels like you're going to leave this home incomplete if you leave. Okay. I have several sexual partners. So somebody here has several sexual partners. It's not just you. Lack of confidence has kept me from living in my truth. So lack of confidence has um, kept someone here um, seeking closure, answers, and um, clarity. So yeah, I plan to take you down with me. If I go down, everybody goes down. And that um comes out a lot so yeah i made a bet with my friends that i could get you so somebody definitely paid someone for sleeping with you that's what i'm getting out of that um karmic is going to commit suicide so someone here is going to commit suicide a karmic is a man or a woman it doesn't have to be you know aunt out next so somebody's aunt is involved in this somebody has honey blonde hair okay somebody is a decoy in this situation um somebody here reads palms or somebody is thinking about taking that up okay somebody is um definitely hunting their pre prey like a lion at this moment somebody is um going to be a tattoo artist or wanting to be a tattoo artist uh, I'm scared to grow alone, grow old alone. So somebody here is scared to grow old alone. But somebody's mind is made up, okay? I take one moment to reflect. Okay, no, take one moment to reflect and revise the situation. This is from Spirit. Spirit wants you to take one moment to revise and um, reflect on the situation. Okay, somebody here is going to be a celebrity or somebody is um, idolizing a celebrity. Spirit wants you to set small goals to reach a final goal. So that's exactly what I was saying earlier in the read. Somebody is emotionally scarred here. Yeah, and it's going to take some time. If you love this person, and this is going to be worth it. I don't like that you get so much attention. So somebody here doesn't like that you get so much attention. Somebody is astonished about something. Okay. Uh, somebody is saying, remember who played who first. So, yeah. Yeah, because you hurt my feelings is here. 
I am grateful for all that I have is an affirmation that you can say. I am a competent woman. I believe in my abilities and express my true self with ease is another affirmation that you can tell yourself every day. Somebody's heart is on ice. Okay. Somebody is very detached. Yeah, somebody is realizing somebody only wants them for financial gain. Gucci, I think I love her out next. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, release heaven, um, victim mentality. Yeah, so release saying, oh, they did this, that's why I did that, or they did this, that's why I'm like this. Stop that. Oh, my kids and grown-up business. So you have some kids and grown-up business. Somebody is going to be publicly exposed. Because somebody is property of the most high. Somebody here needs to balance their chakras. When the problem asks what's the problem. So yeah. X is out next. Somebody's ex is going to be coming around maybe on Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving brawl is out next and cussed out. Karmic situation. It's going to be a karmic situation and somebody's going to be feeling left behind. Um, not making a choice is also making a choice. So Spirit wants you to know if you're not making a choice, Spirit is going to make one for you eventually. Especially if you, you've been holding up time for some time. The time is going to be up soon, huh? Somebody never meant to hurt you. I will align my actions with my words to bring positive results in my life. Is another affirmation you can tell my, yourself. I said myself. <laughs> okay, spirit, I'll tell myself that too. I am protected by the divine providence of universal law. Out next. So, you need to know that you are protected as long as you are higher vibrational and you are not operating you know to alter anyone else's will my yacht is here to set justice to the situation okay someone is about to get sued in this situation okay somebody could be dealing with a tourist something is very skeptical about something uh dark witch in a situation you have a dark witch in the situation, but didn't I say my yacht is here? Twin flame. Somebody is definitely doing magic against a twin flame. And at the bottom of the deck that I had was judgment, right? Somebody is under heavy judgment for this. I can't get you off of my mind. Somebody cannot get you off of their mind. Even if it's a karmic, they can't get you off of their mind either. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. So know that whatever people say, that's their truth. That's not your truth. Live in your truth. Because people secretly hate you, okay? You're actively breaking generational curses. This person can be an earth sign. And this person, you, you know, you're connected to or you could be promiscuous or you were promiscuous in your younger days. And that's why this came about. Like it is, you have a lot of children with different multiple people, you're running in and out of their life, their children's life, and then that's where the curses come in it. So let's get these names out. Um, mix them up. Oh, shoot. Lisa, Daisy, Monty or Monte, White, Rucker, Sharon, Dixon, somebody wants to devote something to you. Rodney, Rodney, 
Jovan, did I say that? Leo. Roman. Gonzalez. Dillard. Julian. Well. Mm, Kayla. Irvin. Louise. Mosby. Marilyn. Marco. June. Sewell. Josh. Monique. Barry. O'Brien. King. Tiffany. Odom. Greenlow. Yanni. April. Marlo. <laughs> Funny. Casey and Casey. So, same name. Last name, Ha. Aaliyah. Vernon. Clemens. Tish. Roxanne. Stefan. Soraya. Sutton. Milani. Benton. Washington, Desiree, Naisha, Kendrick, Brittany, Markeisha, Marvin, Nari, did I say that already? Waters, Jones, Chanel, Crystal, Ray, Nunley, Knox, Trisha, Trish, Amir, wait, Bentley, Gavin, Ramirez, did I say that? Locke, D'Angelo, Aubrey, Collier, Kelly, Ellen, Misha, Marva, Antoinette, Perez, Eugene, May, Serena, didn't I already say that? Or did I say Sabrina? Vera, mm. well, Kane, Tyler, or no, Tyla, Whitfield, Avery, Twan, Howard, Freeman, did I say Cook? Oh, and Thompson. Okay. I guess that's the end of the read. Okay, if you like this read, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share the video. Show me some love, y'all. Thank you.